Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Stingray. Good morning, Stingray. It's a brand new week today. And now, are you ready to get back to the fun lesson, Miss Ling? Let's go. Hey, Stingray. Our lesson today is about water cycle. And Miss Ling will teach you some word about water cycle. Are you ready? Let's go. The first word we are going to learn today is called ice. Ice is the solid form of water. Is ice. But you can make the ice by yourself by put the water pour the water into a tray and then you can put it in the freezer and then you have ice. It easy, right? And the next word is natural ice. So natural ice is different to the ice we have learned before because, like the water in the lake or in the、uh, river, will become ice when it's really really cold. When the winter come and the weather is really cold, so we have natural ice. And now we have freeze, freeze. Freeze. Freezing is a process when water or a liquid turns into a solid. So this is a, what happened when the weather is very cold in natural. So you can see even the tree. Look how it's amazing. And here is water droplet, water droplet, water droplet. So the clouds you see in the sky. Are made of million of water droplets, and when the water droplets become big and heavy, they will fall off from the clouds to the earth and become rain. The next word we're going to learn today is heat. Heat. So heat flows from hot objects to cool object. So when you boil water, do you think it's hot or cold? It's hot, right? And if you want to drink it, then you have to leave it there to make it cool down, so you can drink, right? So when the water is hot, we'll call it heat. So you can see here,、yes? heat, heat. Very good. And the last word is vapor. Vapor. Let me explain with you about this. So steam is released, which is the gaseous form of water, which is called. Water vapor. So you can see here. This is called water vapor. You done a very good job, Stingray. And Stingray, do you think water is important or not important in our life? Yes, it's very important. So that's why we should save water. And now let's watch a short movie with Miss Ling about save water. Okay, let's go. Thanks again for inviting me for a sleepover tonight, Peter. I love sleepovers. Uh, Chris, you should always shut off the water when you're not using it. But how will I brush my teeth without water? All you need is just enough to get your toothbrush wet. Like this. Why do I need to do that? There's water everywhere, in oceans and lakes and streams, and even when it rains. Well, you're right, but not all that water is safe for us to drink. Here, imagine this. If you took all the water in the entire world and put it in one big pool, it would look like this. See, I told you that's a lot of water. It might look like a lot, but of all that water, only a tiny bit is safe for us to drink and use every day. Oh, that's not very much at all. No, it's not. That's why we have to be smart about how we use it. Wow, you're right, Peter. I didn't think of that. It's always.
really smart to save water. Where else can we save water? Well, we can save water by taking a short shower instead of a bath. And by sweeping up dirt outside instead of using a hose. And I always tell my dad when I find a faucet that's dripping so he can fix it. Dripping faucets waste a lot of water. Oh, I know. Like using a bucket to wash your dad's car instead of using a hose. That's right. And when I help my mom do laundry, we can make sure to always wash full loads instead of washing just a few things at a time. Those are great ideas, Chris. Wow. I had no idea there were so many ways to save water. You know, Peter, all this talk about water reminds me of a funny joke. What did the ocean say to the shore? I don't know. Nothing! It just waved! <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, Chris. Hey, so I hope that the story helped you to learn how do we save the water, right? And now, let's review the word we have learned today about water cycle, okay? Let's go! Water droplet Water droplet Water droplet Heat 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 Vapor, vapor, vapor. Ice, ice, ice. Nature eyes, nature eyes, nature eyes. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Tasting race. So today we know more things about water, and I think we're going to save more water, right? Because it's good for our life, and because you've done a very good job today. Now it's time to say goodbye, and I will see you very soon. Goodbye, Stingray. Bye bye. <laughs>